Howard here at kiteboarding.com and we're putting together some packages so you can save money. Now, most of these packages put together things that every kiter is going to use. So this one is called the Kiter's Essential. Now what it is, is anybody, if you ever travel or you're just trying to reduce the bulk of your gear, the bags that go around your kites just get too bulky. If you're going to travel with it, that's the biggest problem. They get very heavy. This is a compression bag. These have become so popular. You, they'll fit any kite out there, compresses it down. It's very, very lightweight and easy to travel with. And once you put these in like a larger bag, you can put your name on these or the size of kite that you want. It's just one of those gifts that I'm telling you, if anybody, anybody's in a kiter, you're going to use this bag. Now from there, we go to the sand weight bag. Sand weight bags have been around and designed one of these. Golly, I don't even know. I'm, I'm guessing probably 15 plus years ago, I came up with a sand weight bag. Sand weight bags are used to hold your kite down. It's a windy day. You're pumping, laying out your lines, and you put your board on there or something. You don't want to do that. If you have fins on that thing, I've seen them cut the kite so many times. A sand weight anchor, just throw it in the truck. It's so, or car, it's so tough. You can put rocks in here. You can put sand in here. If you go to travel with it, you can take it out and then refill it wherever you go. It's got four chambers in here. It's just very useful. You'll see a lot of uses for these things. Next is the kite anchor. Now, we started messing with this. We use this anchor for anchoring single line kites. And then we started seeing guys trying to launch on the beach using like dog stakes. Dog stakes, you cannot put them in your bag. It'll poke into your kite. They're very heavy and very cumbersome. This is the sand anchor. Dig out the sand, put this in, put sand on top of it, bring all three straps together and connect it and you can self-launch on any beach and you don't have this dog stake sticking out. Pull it out of the sand, throw it back in your bag and you're ready to go. It's definitely one of those essential things if you're at the beach and you want to self-launch, this is the way to get an anchor out in the open anywhere you want to go and make it easy. Now, the next thing is you have the self-launch tool. This is a very simple device. It's got the webbing on here, a lark's head in, and a very large carabiner. You can hook this to a tree. You can hook this to the bumper of a car. You can hook it to your, your, sand, um, sorry, your sand anchor. It's so essential. We go through a ton of these. There's almost every kiter has one of these, either thrown in his bag or his vehicle, or they're just left somewhere. It's pretty funny how many of these guys come in and just say, I've got to have one. If you're going to self-launch, this is so helpful. You can see some of the videos and see how we do it. It's just getting that way because a lot of the kites are getting so stable. So you got the sand anchor. You, I mean, I'm sorry, the self-launch tool. You got the sand anchor. You got the weight bag. These are always used. And then you got the compression bag if you're going to travel. So you can save in a package, choose one of these, buy them individually. But if you choose one and then choose another and add these in, it's a great gift item and they're going to use them if they're a kiteboarder. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let us know. Send us an email or give us a call.